Hello ladies and gents, welcome. Today I'm going to do a resin project. I'll be using pistachio shells. I've done a video, I came up with this idea um, last year I think. And I made a bowl. This time however, I'm going to try and make a, a lidded box. Um, but I've got a nice shape, nice design in mind. Um, it involve uh, you'll see, you'll see the shape, but uh, when I turn it. But I'm going to first pour in the resin up to here. So first of all, I'm gonna mix in this resin from resin resin for art ultra clear epoxy resin, low viscosity, uh, non-toxic and UV resistant. Uh, I'm not sponsored or anything to you uh, with this re resin, it's just what I use lately. Um, I also use alumalite, that, that's also another resin that's good. Anyway, let's Started. I need to do two parts of A and one part of B by weight. So uh, that's 200 there, I'll zero that and then I'll put 100 of this. Then I'll mix this. I'm gonna mix it for two, three minutes. Okay, that's mixed. I'm going to use this powder. It's supposed to have um, different color with the light, you know, hitting it when um, supposed to go orange and blue and uh, um, greenish but I've got this also I'm gonna try for the first time it creates cells in 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 the resin it separates colors so what I'll do separate separate this into two and have two different colors one of them being this one a nice nice color maybe we should just have this color to might ruin it I don't know oh, sometimes I wish you guys were all here you could tell me what you think Okay. That's all right. Um, let's go with yellow. 
gold. Oh, um, might not be a good idea because these the statue shells are yellow. Hmm. Let's go with green. Oh yeah, I like this. And we'll try, try this. I think best to do it in here. That actually look nice have it half like that okay I'm gonna drop some gonna can, can you guys see I'm gonna bring it up as soon as I drop some it starts to Oh yeah, I like that. Let's just have some there. Like so. I really like this blue and green mixed. Don't want to mix it. Okay guys, it's the next day. The resin as you can see it turned out really nice i prepared it by the way before i before i put it in there i dropped some some uh pistachio shells on top as well as you can see so i'm gonna start pouring the resin a uh, little bit of it first so it goes underneath underneath the this ball because those post, uh, statue shells are faced upwards so I want I want them filled. I'm not gonna do like the whole thing at once because um, that's how apparently these resins crack and um, because it, it overheats so I'm gonna 
mix the blue and the green like so so that you won't see a line between the first pole and this one so because the other one was mixed as well like that and it gives it a nice effect Plus, I've noticed the pressure from the, you know, the compressed air from the pressure pot actually does also changes the, the patterns and gives it a nice pattern to it as well. I'm gonna do the same just in case if it had the effect before. Okay, and I'll I'll be back when it's done. Okay, I'm gonna slowly pour it. That's, that's almost to the height I wanted it. I don't want any trap bubbles, so I'm doing this. If there's any trap bubbles, they'll come up needs more statue shells this side Do give this a try guys, it creates a lovely, lovely pattern, you'll love it. The pistachio shells are hard to turn though, just bear that in mind, it's not an easy task, but uh, nothing is easy and it pays off in the end. Let's get to it. I'm gonna use this carbide cutter, 15 millimeter. Just just sharpened it. Um, if you wanna know how to sharpen, you just turn this upside down and uh, go circular motion or eight, you know, um, and it becomes sharp. Never touch the edges, you know, the side, unless it's a cutter one. Uh, where it's concave at the top then you you sharpen the sides instead of the top that's the difference anyway let's get started
Okay guys, I've decided for now, I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to keep the tail stock there as a safety. Uh, because my carbide, you know, sticks out to the side, I can use it here. So I'm going to use it as much as I can and I shouldn't go deeper than where it is right now, you know. Uh, because of the foot one pistachio shell escape <laughs> feel like it's going out of balance that can only mean one thing that the uh, glue moved so yeah that's why I stopped looks really good though mm. I think I'll let it let it dry a bit more. Hey guys, I took it off and I made a jam chuck. So I'm going to make a tenon here, small tenon, because there's not much left really to do inside. Um, we'll reshape it. I've got it trued on this as much as I can because the bottom and top needs to be level for it, for this to run as it was before and it's close to it i can't get it perfect so we'll take a little bit off it's still thick enough you know so i'll first make the tenon so we know we got the tenon before i start shaping it As you can see, got it mounted. Um, such a nightmare this, <laughs> this one was. <laughs> oh well. Should have done it from the beginning. You know, I should never trust the epoxy. You know, two-part epoxy. If you if you don't mix it right, I think. I did, I just should have left it for a day to dry completely. It says 30 minutes, you know, fully cured. You shouldn't never, you should never re listen to them. Especially when it's uh, to do with turning and a lot of stress like this on a piece. Anyway, it's getting there. There we go guys, it's all done, I've sanded to 2000 grit, and it turned out so nice, I love the design on this. I 
I'll take some pictures and show you guys and it's also kind of see-through as well thank you everyone for watching I hope you liked it and um, next time I'm gonna do something different um, I love the design I, I think I'll do similar design but have it uh, closed you know at the top a bit more so I could have a lid on it as well I think that will look better and a bit deeper as well like a bit maybe twice as deep but this is a uh, I'm I'm really happy with this thank you everyone for watching and thank you also for the 6,000 subscribers we just reached um, it's been a long journey but but a fun one take care everyone bye